This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. Ever since the attempted coup on January 6, 2021, the, the insurrection that we all witnessed live on television, ever since that day, the right has worked overtime to try to downplay the events of that day. They, they, they've called it a tourist event. They've called it a happy family reunion. Tucker Carlson is fond of calling it a trespassing event with some, some mild vandalism. They call it everything except for what it is, and that is an insurrection, an attempted overthrow of the United States government by way of overturning a free and fair election. They wanted to stop the certification of votes, sending it back to the states where the states could send their own group of electors, the fake electors that Donald Trump had drawn up. The evidence is very, very clear. It, it, it's not, it's, it's not um, in doubt. It's not in question. And people like Laura Ingram, for instance, last night on her show, are doing hard work, carrying a lot of water for Donald Trump to try to extricate the Republican Party from the mess that it is currently in. Watch this clip from last night and marvel at her stupidity. She's also repeatedly lied about the events of January 6th. He summoned a mob to Washington. He knew they were armed on January 6th. He knew they were angry. And he directed the violent mob to march on the Capitol. I mean, the notion that hundreds of people wandering through the Capitol represented an attempt to subvert the U.S. government and that was the plan all is just ludicrous. We know that virtually everyone in the American populist movement opposed the events of January 6. They announced their opposition at the time, and they've repeatedly stated that any lawbreakers from that day should be punished. But as for President Trump, he certainly never indicated that he intended to overthrow the Constitution. Instead, he did dispute the vote count. Do you notice the language she's using there? That uh, uh, some some... Americans wandering through the Capitol. We all have witnessed the violent attack on the Capitol. The footage of the assault, the onslaught on both Capitol Police and Metropolitan Police here in Washington, D.C. We witnessed it. So this is just brazen propaganda that flies in the face of the facts, of the actuality of the, situa of the situation. And to say Donald Trump never indicated that he intended to overthrow the Constitution as though that, that uh, removes any culpability because he didn't officially announce it. He didn't uh, do a speech from the Oval Office indicating his intention to overthrow the Constitution. A bank robber doesn't have to announce, I am going to rob a bank. And then if they do it, oh, they announced it. So he... Yeah, it's, it's official. There is no defense against inciting an insurrection against the United States, knowing a crowd was armed, having all of the, the disparate elements of your criminal seditious conspiracy in place, but because you didn't announce it, you didn't announce your intentions, indicate your intentions. You were vile, Laura Ingram, a disgusting propagandist, perverting what republicanism once long ago was. You, 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 you work in service to a charlatan and a grifter, and you keep the grift alive by continuing the lie. I'd love to know what you think out there, you can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on social media. I'm at dollamore just about everywhere. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. See, it's a, the sirens are going off. It's so, so important for you. <laughs> it's so important for you to follow me on Twitter that uh, sirens are going off in the streets outside my house in Washington, D.C. <laughs> dumb. Anyway, uh, if you appreciate what I do, my stupid jokes, my dumb face, my obnoxious voice, 
Uh, I would appreciate if you consider supporting my work, helping produce what I do right here on the channel. You can click the join button below this video, become a channel member for $1.99 a month, just pennies a day, or you can steer your browser over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast and help support and produce what I do there, which also supports my work here. Anyway, I love you guys. I appreciate you so much. I'll see you next time. Be genuine. Take care of one another.